Plastic resins often require preparation before being processed. This preparation starts by regularly inspecting both the plastic pellets and the material handling equipment for contamination. Always ensure that the material is stored in a temperature controlled environment and is properly marked with the polymer brand, type, and lot number. In most molding applications, the base polymer being used does not have all the final parts desired properties and requires the use of additives. Common polymer additives include impact modifiers, fillers, flame retardants, mold release agents, antioxidants, plasticizers, reinforcements, heat stabilizers, lubricants, and coloring agents. Plastic from the sprue, runner, and rejected parts can be reground and processed. Depending on the application, this reground material can either be mixed as an additive with unprocessed or virgin material or processed by itself. Nylon, acrylics, and most other high-strength polymers must be placed into material dryers before being processed. Without drying the pellets, moisture can cause the polymer to break down and results in brittle parts or parts exhibiting flash or splay. Desiccant dryers are more effective than circulating air dryers and should be used for all applications featuring moisture-sensitive materials. Dew meters are used to measure the moisture content within the dryer. Lower dew points in the dryer indicate less moisture left in the pellets. Appropriate drying temperatures, times, and dew points should be referenced from the material supplier's processing guide. 